Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel Barid Vlogs. I hope you all are doing fine. So I completed my North India ride successfully this week. Thank you all for all your support and all the views that you have given on the videos. It's always been motivated for me. So uh, once I came back, uh, the first thing I did was to get my bike service. So I'm gonna make a few videos about my experiences of the whole ride and also the budget, the expenses that came along on the whole trip. But before that, I thought I'll make a video on the bike because that's the most important thing. So the first thing that I did after coming back uh, the very next day is I dropped my bike off for servicing at Mahbub Garage. So Mahbub Garage is one of the oldest bike servicing for Royal Enfield. Um, like it's been more than five decades now. So they are the second generation currently that's running the business. They are authorized Royal Enfield Service Center. So I've been knowing them since my childhood and the service center is just one kilometer away from my home. So I'll just quickly show you what all changes were done on the bike and what all uh, maintenance work was done uh, on the whole bike. It was just a general checkup, nothing major. I'm uh, just going to show you now. So as you all know, this nut here gave me a hell lot of trouble since I started off from Ajmer. It just cut off. So the clutch set was shaking. The, this whole set was shaking till I reached Bangalore. Nobody was ready to get the job done on the way because they required gas welding. So I got this done. They didn't do any gas welding but they removed the nut and they have replaced it with a new one. It's all firm now. Uh, the next thing, the major thing was the speedometer cable. So the speedometer needle and the odometer both stopped working when I was on my way to Bhopal. So I got that changed now. I got a new uh, set of odometer and the uh, drum that got changed on the bike. So that was one major change. So the whole meter set and the drum set costed me around 1100. The third thing that I got done was this clamp also uh, got cut when I was on my way to Ajmer. Um, I have to get this welded but uh, when i asked at the service center they told me it's not a good idea to weld the whole set on the frame so they have added an additional washer and tightened it firmly but i'm still not sure that this will work so sometime later i'm gonna weld it uh, i'm gonna weld this clamp here so that uh, the the lights don't come off any point at any point of time so that was the only change that was done and uh, the next thing was uh, the silencer gasket so a gasket here inside um, I think it it melted away or what I don't know but the whole silencer was shaking these nuts came out loose when I was on my way from Koppal to Bangalore on the last day so I got the gasket changed uh, even the silencer was making some kind of weird noise when I was running the bike it was the gasket that was the culprit so I got that changed apart from that uh, it was only a uh, few of the nuts and bolts that went loose that were tightened and also last but not the least now this this cable here the horn cable here this got cut when i was on my uh, way to bhopal so since then the horn has not been working like it should be it was only a single horn because the bike comes with two horns that one was working but uh, this one wasn't because of this clip coming off so that was done apart from that there was nothing else that was done the engine oil i requested them not to change it because this time i'm going around with castrol power one so it's been more than uh, three years since i was servicing my bike and having the liquid gun semi-synthetic oil um, being used on the bike this time i wanted to try this castrol power one cruise it's also a semi synthetic oil for cruising machines since this bike is a cruiser i thought i'll be uh, using the same oil for the machine so today i'm gonna polish the bike and i'm gonna replace the oil today so regarding the oil change what we usually do how we calculate the kilometers is based on the odometer reading so based on the odometer reading how many kilometers the bike has run that is the basis on how we change the engine oil but that's not the way because the odometer shows only the spinning of the wheel not running of the actual engine of the bike or a car or any vehicle for that matter so 
what I'm trying to say is if you don't run the bike and you just have the bike idle, the engine is still running. So it's still clocking kilometers, even though your odometer doesn't show it, your engine is running. So when your engine is running, it's obvious that you have additional um, run cycles being added to your engine. So if my bike um, has run for 4,500 kilometers, so that's the uh, total um, ride kilometers that I completed on the North India ride. So 4,500 kilometers is what it showed on the odometer. But most of the times the engine was idle. Sometimes uh, I did a cold start for two minutes or three minutes. So considering all those, you can just add on 300 or 400 kilometers extra on the engine. So it's close to 5,000 kilometers that the engine has run. So considering that, I'm gonna change this oil now. This is the first time I'm using it. And before changing the oil, it's advised that we run the engine for two minutes or we take a small spin of one or two kilometers so that the engine oil gets heated up. It becomes more thin, which makes it more easy for the oil to drain out of the engine. So the bike has been parked now for two weeks. It's been two weeks since I came back from my trip. So I'm gonna run the engine for five minutes or two minutes. And uh, once uh, the, the engine is a bit heated up, I'm gonna let the bike be for like 10, 15 minutes so that the oil gets down from the piston and all the clutch plates and it settles down in the sump and then I'm gonna drain it out. So let's see how it's gonna be. So there are a few things that we require to change the oil, the engine oil obviously. It's a 15 watt 5040 oil and uh, 500 cc Royal Enfield bullet requires 2.5 liter of oil so I have that. And then we have this oil filter. So this oil filter will be replaced here. And of course the toolkit. Alright, so two nuts this is one of the uh, compartment that we need to open it has two nuts there is a small filter inside we need not replace it we can just uh, clean it and put it back and the other one is this nut here this also needs to be opened so there are two nuts that we need to open to drain the engine oil out so let's do that first So when we open this portion of the engine below, this is the filter that I was talking about. You can see how dirty it is. So I need to clean it and put it back. The oil is draining. Once we remove this cover, so you see the oil filter inside, we are going to remove that. So 
this is the new oil filter you get two o-rings with these one will go inside it will go and sit inside and the other one will come on the outer layer so this is the new oil filter so this will be the outer portion of the air filter i mean the oil filter one o-ring will go inside so before i am placing the new oil filter i have cleaned the inner portion thoroughly completely with a dry cloth and i have also cleaned this outer cap this i have also cleaned it so let's first insert this ring inside all right so you see the o-ring inside next comes the air uh, the oil filter make sure the oil filter is always placed in this manner and then you have the other o-ring place it here and now you can just place this cap and seal it off make sure the o-ring is sitting exactly with this cap and it has a spring so you have to press it tightly so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna tighten all the screws now all right so all the oil has drained out so don't forget to tilt your bike a little right and a little left after the draining is complete because there is always some reserve oil in the sump that's still in the center so when you tilt your bike to the right it's gonna come out i mean uh, it'll be a little more than 50 ml of oil that will still be there in the sump so make sure you are tilting it a little right and also left for some time and you will get all the remaining oil gushed out so now since the draining is complete and i have tilted the bike as well i'm gonna put back the nuts and bolts and we'll do the filling of new oil a few moments later so i filled in the new oil and uh, this is the old oil uh, it's not 2.5 liter it is less than 2.5 liter and the thickness is all neutralized i mean you, you can see it's not thick it has to be sticky but it's not so all changes done now i'm gonna put this old oil here and i'm gonna give it in the service center if you are doing an oil change at home please make sure you are not disposing the old oil anywhere um, as much as possible hand it over back to the service center or to any local mechanic